block is. Well, I'm here to tell you. A trading block is a type of intergovernmental agreement, often part of a regional intergovernmental organization, where regional barriers to trade are reduced or eliminated among the participating states. Trade blocks can, can be standalone agreements between several states, such as the North American Free Trade Agreement, or part of a regional organization, such as the European Union. At the moment, there are two parts to the SEPA trading block. Yeah, there's the agreement between mainland China and Hong Kong, and the agreement between main mainland China and the government of Macau. Yeah, and that was signed on the 29th of June, 2003. But there's a similar agreement known as the Mainland and Macau Closer Economic Partnership Agreement. And that was signed by the government of Macau and the Central People's Government on the 18th of October, 2003. Annual supplements have been signed between the Mainland and Hong Kong governments, with the most recent one was signed on the 29th of June, 2007. SIPA's objective is to promote joint economic prosperity under the rules of the World Trade Organization, WTO, and consists prim primarily of trade in goods, services, and investment facilitation. In the agreement, the level of free trade is restricted to the WHO rules. This agreement is between two or more countries and therefore gives preferential access to markets in those specific countries only. However, free trade area allow for member states to trade freely with each other and have separate trade barriers for member countries. In common markets, members of the union enjoy free trade and free, and free movement of labor. However, there is a common external tariff for traders outside the union, as well as common safety standards and other regulations for all. <laughs> the main physical barriers imposed in trading blocks to international trade are tariffs and quotas. Tariffs reduce the competitiveness of a product by increasing the price of export, quoted in tail limits on volume or value of foreign goods. And services! In the same deal signed by the government of China and Hong Kong, they bridge the gap of cross border trade and investment between the two countries. No, the benefits of this was that Hong Kong acted as a bridge between China and the rest of the world, strengthening the trade and investment. Trade creation is when a country switches from buying commodities from a high-cost country to buying them from a lower-cost country. You want to know about trade diversion? Well, I'll tell you. Trade, trade diversion results in losers in a trading block when a country switches from buying commodities from a low-cost country to buying them from a higher-cost country. The, the aim of those outside of the agreement is to join one of SEPA's so as to benefit from the free trade agreement. Remaining isolated makes it harder to trade efficiently and enjoy mutual benefits of trade. The establishment of local organization structures, working with local cultures and needs, by businesses as they progress from national to multinational, or global businesses. The creation or distribution of products or services intended for a global or trans-regional market, but customized to suit local laws or cultures. 